What's going on guys, Coach Jeremy here. Today I got another deck. This one is not very, I mean like, I have not seen an iteration of Abzan in standard. Uh, you know, of course the Sensei Drown rotated, <clears throat> and this probably isn't a very good deck. However, <clears throat> it's way too much fun for me not to play it. <laughs> this is basically, uh, this is, this reminds me a lot of the deck that <clears throat> was Abzan before Sea Drown rotated, but of course there's some different additions, of course. Uh, in your 4 drop slot you have Kalidus. Uh, you know, you can also be playing Sylvan Advocate. Of course, you could have been playing that, I think. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, I think... Yeah, they all rotated whenever Shadows of Over Interstead came out. So, yeah, of course, Sylvan Advocate's a new addition. This card's just really good. I mean, it's just very good. Uh, and this with Vastwood here. Keep in mind, these are this deck is going to be based off of cards that I own in reality. So, any numbers, if, if it feels like it should be four, I either don't have it or I just decided uh, that I do not want four copies. So, there's three Dem Protector up here. Card's really good for late game card advantage. Then you have two Kalidas Trader of Get, which this card's just super good. Uh, one of them all the Preserver for helping get, you know, come back in the late game. You got two Nissa Vestwood Series, a Planeswalker package, uh, three Sylvan Advocate. For your removal package, you have two Anguish Dumb Making, uh, three Jamoka's Command, three Grasp of Darkness, and two Ultimate Price. Jamoka's Command also is a nice way to deal with enchantments. Lands are four Kids of Koilos, four Evolving Wilds, three Forests, two Hissing Quagmire. Uh, three land war waste, three planes, four shambling vent, and two swamp. And the planeswalker package, uh, alongside the two Nissa, are three uh, three Gideon allies into car, one a mix of reignited, two sword and grim nemesis. You get the sorceries, uh, single declaration stone, two painful truths, two runa's path, three transgress to mind. Sideboard is looking pretty interesting. We got two uh, Dramokas, or dragon lord Dramoka and three reality smasher. Now these cards are obviously for the control matchup, but reality smasher I found to just be an awesome, awesome card. I would love to main deck it, but eh, I mean. It seems bad against the human decks and any other aggressive decks. Uh, so then we have three Deadweight, uh, two Brilliant Plague, another Anguish Dead Making, three Duress, and two Languish. So without further ado, we shall get into a game. Alrighty, so we have a match here ready to go. Alright, uh, good luck. Roll a dice, he got a five. Where is the dice? Oh, it's Control I. I guess I could just do that. So he got a five. He got a, oh, of course I got a three. <laughs> so I assume he'll be on the play. Yeah. Draw our hand here. Ugh. It's all right. I mean, we have a transgress. We have an anguish to making. Hopefully, we can draw our. Hopefully, we can draw our fourth land, aka second white source, to hopefully play our Gideon. There's Jamoka's command. So I guess we'll just start off with the case of Koilos. I think we're playing some sort of black-white deck because revealing the absent colors is going to kind of throw them off. I think. His card. He's playing a needle spider, so interesting. Enigmatic insight. Discarding John your temple. This could be the red white Eldrazi deck we saw from the Pro Tour. I think Luis Salvato got seventh seed with it. Uh, that'd be a pretty interesting matchup. All right, so we'll draw our card. There's, another, there's a grasp of darkness. So I guess that's a really nice removal spell. Let's see what you have to, man. Got a transgress to mind for you. All right. So he's got a pyromancer. Yeah, okay. So this is actually red white ramp, it looks like. Uh, so we have an anguish to making to take care of the pyromancer's goggle. I don't think I want him to get any value from Nahiri. Fairy temper just doesn't seem like a problem, so we'll take Nahiri. Nahiri. Wait, how do you even spell it? Oh. In a. Okay, there we go. Nahiri. So we'll go ahead and hide that. Wonderful. All right, we'll go to the insta. Yeah, Nahiri. I mean, we can also get rid of it with. We can get rid. If we took Pyramus's Gungles, we could have gotten rid of the Nahiri with Anguish No Making, but it just doesn't make sense, in my opinion, um, to just give him immediate value with the Nahiri. Of course, he still very well could get immediate value with uh, Pyramus's Gungles goggles, depending on what he draws. But we'll see how that works. So he played the mountain. He's probably gonna fire temper me at the end of turn. Wait, what? Did he? Oh, what? Oh, that's from the graveyard. I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright, so five. Okay, so he's four cards. What do we play? He played a mountain. He's going to play the Pyromancer's Goggles, which we are perfectly alright with. We're going to. Oh, we should have done the end of turn. I'm so stupid. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we're going to act like we drew it. <laughs> Damn it, that sucks. We're going to anguish up making the Pyromancer's Goggles, so we'll lose three life. Come on, man. It's the only non-land permanent on the field. There we go. 
Alright, so Paris's goggles no longer a problem. We still got a stone crane and a fire temple. We did miss our fourth and fifth. No, 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 just fourth land drop. Get through the story. Our stone query. So he's got three cards, one of them being the fiery temper. That's a madness cost of one. So ooh. So is that what is that? Two one with double strike? Alright, no problem. Alright, so we are twelfth. So we really need to draw a land like now. Ah, that's not the land we wanted. <laughs> Um, so it's 2 1 with double strike. I think I'll just play the Evolving Wilds and leave up Grasp of Darkness. Yeah, I really messed up not playing, um. Really messed up not playing the Anguish Stone making into turn. I just got too impatient, and that was my fault. Shuffle our deck a little bit. Dramatic Insight. Okay, discarding Dragon Temple. It's pretty good. So he'll go to four cards. One of them is a Fiery Temper. Hmm. Yeah, we're at 12. That's not very good for us right now. I don't... I think this is actually just red-white Eldrazi. Maybe. I don't know. The Pyromancer's Goggles just makes me think that it's a ramp deck of some sort, but I don't know why you'd ramp with... Um, I don't know why you would ramp with... Red-white. Doesn't make a ton of sense. But that's alright. So we get rid of the uh, Needle Spires, which is pretty cool. I don't know why that's there. Alright, so draw a card. And we draw Gideon. So he has a fiery temper, which isn't the best, but it only deals three, which is actually pretty sweet. Um, so I'm playing a dead protector face up is really it doesn't seem very good. And then the needle spires. Uh, Gideon does not seem like a good play unless we're just going unless we're just going to ultimate it, just because of that needle spires up there it has double strike, so I can just get rid of my token and end up killing Gideon anyway. Uh, with the fire temper, of course. But actually, hold on, so. It, Takes four mana. Four. So you just do four to activate that. Uh, and he's got that. So maybe, I mean, if he has a way to discard Fiery Temper, then he kills Gideon. So we're going to take that risk. Does I don't think we're really winning game one here anyway. It just doesn't seem very plausible. So we're going to set counters to four. Create a token. Knight. Ally. And. Oh wait, whoops. My number luck was not on. Two, two. Alright, wonderful. We shall pass the turn. So now we have a Knight Ally. He still has a Fiery Temper. Um, like I said, if he has a way to discard it, it's not going to be very good. So there's a Majoring Network. So it's this has got to be some sort of Eldrazi deck. I'm pretty sure it's the Red White Eldrazi deck. I don't remember if it played Pyramus' Goggles, honestly. Uh, Big Knight at... Oh no. Wait, so he taps the Mountain. Lightning Axe to target creature. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. I highly doubt we're winning this game at this point. That was very good. I assume he's attacking Gideon. Oh, wow. Sending me to three. Alright. Oh, whoops. Interesting. So he sends me to three. He has one card left in his hand, so. We have to leave up. So if he has. We have Dramoka's Command if he has a Fiery Temper. We have to leave up Grasp of Darkness in case if Needle Spires. Okay, so this game isn't entirely out of our reach. Actually, I think we can just go create another token. Yeah. This game isn't entirely out of our reach. Um, so we have Dramoka's Command in case he has Fiery Temper to prevent it and put a counter in that Night Ally. And then we'll leave up two more mana for yeah, Fiery Temper, so we're going to play Dramoka's Command. Losing a life. And then we will prevent it and we'll put a counter on this guy. Alright, so at that point Lucky we have a Grasp of Darkness, yeah, so... He has zero cards in his hand, which is fantastic. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's not doing it, okay. I guess he very wisely thought of the potential Grasp of Darkness. So, we're at two. We still have a Dramoka's Command in case he plays... Oh, man. So, I think we want to plus our Gideon here. We can plus and smash for five. We still have that. We have a Grasp of Darkness for the Needle Spires. Yeah, we're just going to take up. Oh, whoops. 
we're going to take up and then we're going to start combat attack attack for eight all right I think we'll leave up Dramukas command in case of another fiery temper grasp of darkness to kill the Neil spires all right so he drew a card interesting Yeah, the Needle Spires, we have the answer with it, with our Grasp of Darkness. Oh my god. Follow Titan. All to me. So hold on. Just a second. Yeah, we're just going to Jamoka's Command again. Putting another counter on this guy. He said lol. <laughs> that is funny. But we are at one, so we have to be very careful on how we do this now. Uh, so that's five. So that's nine. He'll go to three. At this point, we can actually... 9 will go to 3. We can still Grasp of Darkness the Needle Spires. So that's pretty good. I think we'll plus our Gideon. Attack in for 9. Put him to 3. Alright. Ah, oh, I should have played the Evolving Wilds. Dang it. I, I don't like playing online. I tend to forget a lot more things. But we have a Grasp of Darkness. We don't even have to lose any life because of his Quagmire and Swamp. It's just going to pass. He very wisely is thinking of the Grasp of Darkness. I think we might have this game, and if we play the Evolving Wilds, we can ensure it with the Soren, but it does not look like that's going to happen because I'm not the smartest man in the world. Attack. Do you have anything? It's attacking for nine. Lightning Axe. He's still dead. Isn't he still dead? Okay. I mean, he had to dis oh, GG. <laughs> oh, he had to discard any, uh, he had to discard for Lightning Axe anyway, so I guess he was just doing whatever. All right, so we're going to unlock our sideboard. Um, so Red White Eldrazi. Ultimate Press does not seem very good whatsoever. I love the look of Dramoka's Grand in that matchup. Duress seems pretty good. Reality Smasher doesn't seem bad. I think Dragon Lord Dramoka might just be our best option against this deck, though. So I think what we can do... Let's see. Obnixilus seems okay, but not the greatest. We'll go ahead and, we'll take it out for now, and we'll see what happens. Uh, so at this point... Dead Protector seems kind of slow. I mean, we can bring in three Duress and a Dragon Lord Dramoka and take out a single Dead Protector. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see... I understand that Dragon Lord Dramoka's uh, six mana seems pretty uh, slow and everything, but... Uh, I mean, there's 25 lands in the deck, and we very well got to... We very well could have... We easily got to... Not easily, but we very well could have gotten to 6 mana. And I think Dragon, War, Dragon Lord Dramoka on turn 6 is not that unplausible. <laughs> it seems pretty plausible, in my opinion. There we go. And so we have... Also, Price Grasp of Yes, seems like an alright keep. Seems like an okie doke keep, did I not? Keep. There we go. And we accidentally made it look like we thought a long time. Oh, there we go. Okay. Pass. So my computer was kind of bugging out for a little bit. Oh, nice. We drew Kalidus. And we don't have all the necessary mana, but I think we'll be able to draw them. We didn't last game, but just a game of chance is magic, so it'll be alright. Grasp of Darkness seemed kind of odd. It seemed to only take out his Needle Spires from what I saw. Alright, so we'll draw. There's a transgress the mine. That's actually she seems pretty good. I think we'll play that instead of our instead of leaving up our uh, grasp of darkness here. Hand disruption seems fantastic against this deck. So there's two thought not seers. Okay. So let's see what we can deal with. He actually can't cast anything, I don't believe. Except for Avison's judgment, of course, but you always you typically want to do that for your madness cost. So let's see. So we have a grasp of darkness for one of the thought not seers. We have a ruinous path for the other. We can Let's think here. Um, I think we might save the Runes Path for Chandra. Avacyn's Judgment doesn't seem that bad. We can't even take it actually with the Dragon's Grasp, my fault. Maybe the other Thought Knots here. Perhaps Pyromancer's Goggles. Just because that allows them to copy cards, which is pretty good. We don't actually have an Anguish Dome making yet, so I think we're going to take the Goggles. 
And I'm sure we can draw more removal for the rest of this hand. All right, wonderful. John your temple. So he only has three mana, so he can only cast an Abyssus Judgment. So let's hope he doesn't draw land. That'd be wonderful. Uh, okay, yeah, I play the drama. John your temple, so we'll pass. Untap, draw. There's Dramokas Command. So I think we'll grab a forest with that Evolving Wilds real quick. Just so we have our colors online. Oh, well, actually, meh. Well, we need our colors, don't we? Eh, not necessarily. We only have Dramokas Command. But Abyssus Judgment. Sure. Hold on, I need to grab my forest first. Whatever. We'll just reveal hands to all players. Still grabbing a forest. Okay. Thought not see, so he'll. Hmm. So that's one thought not see so gone. He did draw land, I actually just realized, so that's not very good for us. We don't even have another land, so we really need to hope to rip a land pretty soon. Playing Kali, this seems pretty good. Grasp? Alright, yeah. It's exiled. Ruinous Path to take out the Thought Knots here to draw cards seems alright. We do not have another play. Got a Hissing Quagmire. Which isn't the worst land to draw, but wish I drew a little better. I guess we'll just. Ah, oh, no. I don't know. He's got another Thought Knots here. Ruinous Pathing. Th Ruinous Pathing this one. I think with Dragonlord Dramoka, if we just keep ripping lands. We gotta hope we gotta keep. I think that's our plan. We're gonna keep ripping lands. Hopefully, be able to play Dragon Lord Jamoka to simply just take care of the Chandra Flame Caller. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna draw another card. The only reason I think playing Runa's Path is decent for us right now is because we get to draw a card off of it. We drew a Gideon, but we're drawing ourselves we're drawing ourselves closer to a land, and that's really what we need right now is some lands. We need to play. Our, we need to get some lands. We can play Kalidus next turn, which is pretty solid. Doesn't look like he has a real option to that, unless we play. He will play the other Thought Knots here, so it's not looking great. I think he's going to take Kalidus with this. Pretty sure. I'd be surprised if he didn't take Kalidus, which is a little unfortunate, but. I mean, what can you do, right? I'm getting ready to get the Kalidus out of here. I don't even know why I have this right here. Kalidus, yeah, I figured. So, that's not very good. Really, really need to hope. Draw land, and we drew Caves of Coilus, which is awesome. So we can actually draw. We can actually just play our Gideon. Yep. And he's stuck on lands, which if we can slam our Dragon Lord Mocha pretty soon, oh baby, it's gonna be awesome. Four. We're gonna create our token. Bang. And pass the turn. Okay. Depending on where he attacks Thought Now, so if he attacks us, I think we will not block. But if he attacks Gideon, I think we will block. Be a little surprised if he did, just didn't attack, but I assume he's attacking. If he attacks us, we're not going to block. Text Gideon, we will block. I'm trying to keep our Gideon alive to get some value. We don't want Gideon to just die. If Gideon's just going to die, then we might as well just ultimate him. Looks like an. Oh, an Avison's Judgment. Oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah. That is unfortunate. So, Gideon's going down. However, if we rip an untapped land, that would be. Super awesome. Dang it. There we go. Alright, so that was a pretty decent turn for my opponent. He still has a Chandra. Four cards. Draw a card. Drew a Sylvan Advocate, which isn't the worst, I guess. Um, we're just going to pass. We have a Dramokas Command. have a Hissing Quagmire. So hopefully we'll be able to... I think it'll be okay to just go up there and just be like, Hissing Quagmire. Block, perhaps. Depending on what happens. Actually, we have a Shambling Vent, which is pretty sweet. Oh, another Thought not here. Man. So... Ah, oh, that's not good. That's really not good. So... We can... I think it'll be 2-3. We can do... Man, that's not good. It's just not good. Alright, fine. I think, we'll just, I think we'll just let it happen. I don't know why I don't just reveal it to him, but whatever. <laughs> so, 
We'll let him take what he wants, I guess. It'd be, it would really suck if he took Dragonlord, actually. That would be bad. But if we draw six land, then we just go off, I think. Even if he doesn't take Dragonlord Jamoka, because then we can just have our Sylvan Advocate and still play. He said, hmm. <laughs> well, we just gotta hope to rip a land. That's kind of our main plan right now. Yeah, this seems to be a pretty tricky situation. I think regardless of what we're going to do here... I mean, he's attacking for four. I don't know. I just need to draw some cards. <laughs> need to get some action going. As soon as we draw a sixth land, though, it's going to be really, really good for us. We just need a sixth land. He might be taking the Advocate because of that, actually. Because the Advocate is probably the best card we have if we draw a sixth land. But hopefully he won't realize that. I'm actually okay if he takes just about anything. I'd prefer him to take either Dragon Lord Jamoka or Gideon. So that we can have a removal spell with Jamoka's command if we draw land. That's kind of what we're banking on. We're just hoping we draw a land. Jamoka. Yeah, I'm assuming that Jamoka. So, getting rid of our Dragon Lord Jamoka. Which is perfectly fine. We're alright with this. I'll attack for four with that. Which I guess we'll block... I think we just need the sixth land, so we're gonna not block. Go ahead, do your attackers, you're good. Go for it. <laughs> all right, we're all right with this. All right, so draw, we draw Soren. Oh no, that's gonna be the worst draw we could have drawn. One of them at least. That's terrible. All right, go, go ahead. Oh no, need that sixth land. I don't understand how we're getting screwed so often though. I mean, yeah, he has a Chandra. I just know he has a Chandra, it'll be all right. Man, that's bad, that's very bad. He's killing Gideon no matter what if he just attacks both of Gideon, so. Fiery Temper, are you targeting? Man, ah. Uh. Oh, well, we at least we pulled game one out, right? Go to game three. So one at me, one at Gideon, I assume. Yeah. All right. Come on, sixth land. You know you want to be there. Let's go battlefield four, six. All right. Come on, sixth land. Oh, Nissa, come on. All right. Well, it's not the worst draw. I mean, at least it'll get us our sixth land. We can play an advocate. Um. So we'll play our advocate, he'll be big. Which is good. And then a place of an advocate. So that's actually fine. It's not the worst we could have done. Would have preferred to draw an untapped land. Uh but it's not the worst. It's really not the worst. So make sure you didn't say anything. Alright, we're good. Alright, so the beginning of combat, attack, really? Is he attacking? How bold. I guess, I'm assuming this will be able to kill one of my dudes. Or this will be able to kill, but I don't think we can afford to not block at this point, so we'll just do that. Um, this will take four, right? That's all the blocking I'm doing. All the blocks and responses. Damage. Nope. Wonderful. So we get to draw a card. Thought nuts. Definitely. All right. So we'll draw a card. Get a duress. Would have been nice to have last time, last turn. But he's got a mountain, so we get three cards. Oh god, he's gonna play Chandra. That's not good. Um. Yep. Is he minus twoing? Yeah. That's not good. All right. Well. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, so we'll draw. Got a planes. So we can play Soren and. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, so no matter what we do with Soren, even if we plus, he's dead. So we're at six. I think we need to do the thing that. Do okay, so hold on. So if we play Soren. Okay, I think we might want to. 
Let's play this. I think we might want to duress first to see what he's going. Let's see what we're up against. Let's do that. Duress. What do you got? You have two cards. What do you got? Lamvala and goggles. All right. So Lamvala. It's not going to be very good. So clearly trying to hold it for better value. I'm trying to think. So the plus just kills us. We can minus four kill a fountain house here. Draw a card. Go to ten. So then it won't quite kill us. But then he'll probably be killing my Soren at that point. I think Chandra. I think Chandra just poses a big threat. So we're going to play our big dude. Be like bang. We're going to. Might as well minus five at this point to gain a bunch of life. I think. So we're just gonna add. Yeah, we're gonna minus five to draw a bunch of cards or to gain a bunch of life. Only reason I do that is simply to just try and gain as much life as possible because even if I minus two, then Thought Not Seer will kill the Swarm because Swarm would have only four loyalty left. So you might as well just do that, gain as much life as possible. If for whatever reason he does Oh, he's got another Chandra. He rips another Chandra. Unbelievable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, well. I'll be going to one. Follow at me or what? So I'll be going to one if you do it. Yep, Soren's dead. Down to four. Alright, so not looking like it's the best. And there's another Soren. What? That's awesome. That's super awesome. Bang. <laughs> you rip a Chandra, I rip a Soren. Get wrecked. That is awesome. Oh man, and he's got he's only got a got or he's actually got a Limvala in his hand, so. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. Sweet. I have a Dramokus command to actually kill a Thought Not Seer next turn anyway with the Hissing Quagmire. Yep, Soren's dead, that's fine. What would you like to do? Would you like to play your Limvala? Linvula. He loses a life for that. Alright, he got it. And voila, nothing happens. Alright, so it's a big fly fly flyer. Draw a card. Draw caves. So I think. Ooh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something spicy. So, one, two, three. So we got seven lands. We're gonna play caves. There's no reason not to. So we're gonna do something pretty spicy. Um, say so Alambala. Yeah, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass. And so, with our Hissing Quagmire, this is gonna be pretty sweet. We're gonna go block the Thought Not Seer. And then. Uh, plus one, plus one counter. Oof. Uh, that's not good. I think that kills us. Well, shambling vent, I guess. Alright, so... Go ahead. You're good. Yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything. We might as well take this time to think, so... I'm going to tell him... Thinking. So, let's see what we got here. We can gain life. It's still a possibility, so... We have one, two... Three for the shaman vent, and then one, two, three. So we'll go to eight if we do that. Looks like, I believe. So, two, three, two, three. Yeah, there's no way we can't really take life for that. So we'll go to eight by by activating both of our guys. Yeah, like Smasher is a very good draw. We can. We can still survive, which is actually incredible. But at that point, I think we're dead so animate take a life animate then we can block block and then tap or right, well, hold on block those two and before damage and I guess we'll add a counter and fight. So the ball will be dead. We'll gain three life. So I think we're dead anyway, though. Ah, oh, trample. That's right. My fault. I did not. I forgot he had trample. So, good thing he said something. And there's a den protector. That's interesting. What can we get back that's gonna save us? I don't know. Let's see. 
Den Protector can block the Reality Smasher. We'll go to six, and then we'll flip him. Can bring back, or what we can do now. Okay, so here's what we can do. We're trying to weigh out our options. He has one card. I think it's the goggles. If he hasn't played it already, yeah, it's the goggles. So, or no, it's not. We took the goggles. I'm stupid. Okay. So we can play. Fa we can play face down Den Protector. Oh no, we can't play Nissa. That's right. But we just gotta. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't draw a removal spell. Basically, what we're doing here. And we will play that face down. Alright, go. Let's see what we got here. So, we're playing a morph. Um, I don't know what we can get back that's going to help. We're going to go ahead and get ready to say this. Damage. Okay. I guess we'll block this, take four, we can flip, get Soren, minus four, and Soren will die from that, and I can draw a card. Sorry, I'm just kind of doing a lot of thinking here, uh, just kind of thinking out loud a little bit. So we'll flip him, get back our Soren, and take four, cool, because that's cool to me. Alright, looks like he's cool with it. Eh. Cool. Uh, oh, I forgot about trample, so five. Yep, so we go to three. That's not good. Did not think about that. And he looks like he's got something in the second phase, which is not good. Nahiri. Uh oh. Did he just discard a Thought Nuts here to. Alright. <laughs> Just still an advocate. I don't think it's going to help very much. Okay. What do you got? So we can minus five the reality. No, can we? Because the target of a spell that opponent controls. Counter that spell so it doesn't say anything about an ability. And we can gain five. The Thought Nuts here has more incentive to. Alright, well, we're just going to keep chugging along here. And we'll minus five the reality smasher on you. Expect thought not or expect thought not here to go crashing in on Soren. Okay, so this is becoming a very strange game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's gonna do that. It's going to discard Majoring Network and draw a card. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so he's gonna tap five reality smasher. Oh God. All right, game three, dead AF. All right, uh, yeah, GG, for show. Sure. All right, going on to game three here. Yes, I would like to concede this game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So after that, he has Reality Smashers, which aren't good. Languish seems all right against the. Uh, it's a thought, not serious. So we're trying to think here. Um. I don't know how effective Dragon Lord Jamoka is. Actually, Dragon Lord Jamoka will be very effective if we can get it off because um, I just think it will. <laughs> Personally, duress didn't seem too exciting, but I think it's very, I think it's still very good. We have an anguish to making to help. I think our deck is fine. Reality Smasher seems all right, but I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to start here. Wait for him to get ready to start. Okay. It's probably doing some changes, which is all right. Perfectly all right with that. All right. The ultimate price and Omnixus don't seem to be the greatest. Actually, Omnixus seems all right. What are we going to take out, though? Oh, lost connection. That's unfortunate. Well, I think you guys kind of see the basis of the deck. We'll go ahead and look at it one more time. So since we lost connection on that, we're going to go ahead and call this a... Since this is already a very long um, long and winded video anyway, you kind of saw how the deck worked in action, and we got screwed a couple of times, but perhaps I'll make more videos uh, showcasing this deck 
uh, more in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here's the deck one more time if you guys want to look at it a little bit more. All right, let me know if there's any changes you guys would make to the deck for sure. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Awkward outro. <laughs> Later.